Hey guys, hanging out in my van this morning. I decided to do a little bit of a van tour so that you can see what my home looks like inside. I am very comfortable in here. It is a low top, which means that I cannot stand up in the van completely, but that's okay. I have learned to manage and I have gotten a few bumps on my head from forgetting. <laughs> but here's a tour of my van, my home inside. Hey, good morning everyone. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a van tour for you. This is my tiny home on wheels. It is a 2008 Ford Econoline E150. It uh, had 52,000 miles on it when I bought it. I was blessed enough to be working at a car lot at the time that uh, I was searching for a van and so I was searching the auctions and I found this one and it cost $8,900, which for 52,000 miles of 2008, I thought that was a great, great price. It's also a one owner. The only bad thing about it is, is that it was a delivery van for a Italian restaurant and it had a wrap on it. The wrap was so old and caked on that we couldn't get it off. So we had to sand it down to the bare metal and repaint the whole van. So that was kind of expensive there, but it's been well worth it. So let me give you a tour of my tiny home on wheels. I have shore power hooked to it in two different places. On the front runs all of my power equipment and on the back runs my air conditioner as long as I'm hooked up to shore power. I had the horses put on it because it was just so plain and white and I just wanted something different. And then I had the horses put on the side. As we go into the van, you'll see that I have my passenger seat on a swivel, reclined face in the back. I call it my recliner, and that's where I sit to relax at night. I have a dehumidifier and a clean air machine that I can run when I am hooked up to shore power. I am looking into getting me a generator to put on the back and that way I'll have power at all times when I need it. I have a little teakwood bench that I keep between the seats that covers my Jackery solar power right there that runs all of my power stuff when I'm not hooked to shore power. I can charge that when I'm driving down the road also. So then I have the refrigerator, just a little wooden bin that sits on top of it that I move to the floor when I'm traveling. I have three bins here, uh, mostly for clothes and accessories, and a couple of drawers of tools. And I have this ottoman here. If you can notice the stain there, I had um, a can of Pam cooking spray in there. And somehow or another the top had come off and when I sit on the lid it pushed the button and sprayed that Pam all over my ottoman. So I've got to get that cleaned. This build I did myself. It's not professional. I was 62 years old at the time that I did this build. And I did everything myself except for the Max Air Fan and the air conditioner. I sent it to an RV place and had them to install that. So in the cab, whenever I'm visiting a place and I can get a sticker for a souvenir, I stick them to the cab of my van. And I have several on the dash and the uh, steering wheel. And this is 
a note that was written by my mom and give to me before she passed away and so I laminated it and stuck it in the in the van and that's the captain seat where I drive to see all of my adventures so I have a refrigerator I have a countertop that's where I also cook and then do my computer work when need be. I also have another smaller Jackery that runs all my lights in the back and my Max Air fan when I need it to run. I have a full-size bed in here and although I am too long to lay from end to end, I lay from corner to corner but I can curl up if I need to. Like I said, it's not a professional build. I did this myself. And there are mistakes. And there are things that I should have done differently. Too late now, unless I tear it all out and redo it. And I'm not going to do that. Um, I have clothes hanging in the back. And then I have these bins with accessories and clothes and things in there. I have a water jug here with a USB powered pump. I do not have hot water. I have to heat my water if I want hot water. I also have a Coleman Wave 3 propane heater that I use when I'm not hooked to shore power and I need heat. I have put panelings on all of the doors. And I found these. These are antique wrenches. I can't ever say that. Antique Ford that I use as door handles. And I did family pictures on the wall to make it more homey. My sister made me a tag that's called Mimi Van. I have a tag on the front that's called Mimi Van. And that's what my youngest grandson named my van for me. And I said, what do we need to call this van? And he said, Mimi Van. I said, okay. And so there's my Mimi Van tag that my sister made for me. And it's the name of the van. I built the bed platform up higher so that I have storage underneath here and I have several bins that's my laundry detergent I also carry my laundry basket back here and I have a couple of little small propane tanks up there for my heater I Got me a shoe rack for my extra shoes that hangs on my back door. Now what I'm looking for is a welding and fabrication shop that can put me a rack on this back door, reinforce my hinges, uh, put a metal plate on the inside of the door and the outside of the door to hang it so that I can hang a small Honda generator that'll run all my power stuff while I'm on the road boondocking. So hopefully I can find somebody that'll do that for me. I know I can get a rack that goes off of my hitch, but I have backup sensors and a backup camera that I don't want it to interfere with. I put bigger tires. These are the Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires on here. Although it is not four-wheel drive, it really helps when you're driving in the weather. And then, of course, I put hardwood floors in. So this is my little tiny home on wheels that I am very comfortable in. And I love to travel this way. <laughs> 